morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are. Thank you so, so much for being here. Uh, last time we were here together, I had an awesome, amazing time with you guys, and you have responded so beautifully to the, um, the last reading that we had for Twin Flames. Um, this is another Twin Flame video reading for you guys. It is for those who are in separation or those curious about... Um, if you will be in separation, say if you're not. So this is for you guys. If you're in separation, you've been in separation, we are going to find out today if that separation will end with twin flames, possibly when. We could get some, you know, uh, symbolism for that. Spring, fall, winter, um, summer, depending on when. So we might be able to find out, um, you know, what's going on here. And we'll also find out what's going on in the connection karmically and with yourself, um, spiritually, emotionally, physically, mentally. Um, see what's going on with your masculine, what is happening with them. Um, and again, when separation will end or will it end. And we will find out here. This is to give you guys some peace of mind and to guide you and to help you to work with being you know on your own right now or being in that separation period right now um and to kind of lead and guide you guys during this time so let's find out what's going on with your masculines let's find out what's going on with you we're going to get dm's confessions df confessions love um confessions untold truth um some 5d messages from your divine masculine um and things like that so i hope you guys will stay tuned all the way through um of course, you if you're interested in personal readings, they're still on my Etsy shop. I still have some Valentine's Day ones. If you are still curious about what your Divine Masculine was thinking or feeling for you during that time, those are still there for you guys um, um, at my shop. So if you want to get any of my Oracle Twin Flame cards, my new ones for pre-order are for an amazing price right now. Um, and that ends March 1st. So thank you guys so much. If you are new, please, if you resonate, like, share, and subscribe. Get that message out there. There are some perks below. Um, if you subscribe, you'll be entered to win a free reading. So it's not automatic. Um, I know some of you might have been confused by that, but you will be entered for a free reading when I reach that 3,000 milestone, and we are very, very close to that because you guys are so amazing and so awesome, um, and you've brought so much, so many blessings to this channel. So um, if you're interested in that, you can go ahead and do that. If you're new or if you're um, returning, thank you so much and welcome back. So let's get started what's going on with the masculine we already have had this fall out while i was shuffling um the page of cups so this is going to be your um, romantic offering um an offering with the heart the masculine is thinking about communication is thinking about um you know things from the past perhaps the things involving the separation and then also thinking about um Thinking about sending a message could be text could be email um, definitely could be any form of communication between the two of you um, with their heart that is what this offering here is this emotional cup here that water energy deals with the emotions and the body so your masculines definitely have you on their mind feminine and they're definitely wanting to communicate something to you or to, to offer something. So Divine Masculine, what is going on? How are we feeling about the feminine right now during separation? What's going on with the masculines right now during separation? How are they feeling right now? What is that energy? And again, this can involve um, karmic energy as well and here we get the high priestess at the bottom of your deck so this is the divine truth divine feminine um, energy following their intuition following their instincts when it comes to the connection okay so what I'm seeing here so far we have the queen of pentacles okay this is another feminine energy here and um, you should see, be able to see the cards real clearly. I'm just kind of setting the mood for everybody today. So it's kind of warm and a little 
darker and hopefully you guys resonate with that but so queen of pentacles okay so your masculine is thinking about a caring comforting feminine energy right now and obviously i feel like that comes to you okay so they're really thinking about you they're really thinking about how calm you make them feel how comfortable you make them feel that might be something that in this separation that they're really missing right now that they're really um focusing on and that's why they're thinking about communication that's why they're thinking about offering something to you that's why they um you are heavily in their energy with this queen of pentacles and then a king of wands so this is all about making passionate, determined, active decisions, okay? So something that involves them, I guess, like a strengthened decision or choice that they're going to make. Um, and they're really, really passionate about doing this, really devoted to doing this. Um, and again, it could have to do with this communication. For those in separation who haven't communicated, this is something really heavily on their minds to do. And then here, we have the Six of Wands. This is all about like communal celebration, um, something happening, an event happening that is a cause for a celebration, something public, okay? So also could deal with all the hard work that's being done. All the work being done by you and the masculine is going to pay off. There's going to be a reaping of those rewards coming at the end of this difficult, challenging cycle for you guys, okay? Um, and with the Knight of Wands here, it just tells me that not only are you heavy on their minds, but they're also thinking about you physically. So the Nine of Wands is about rushing in with their, um, with their emotions, maybe even not even thinking about it. They're just rushing in, they desire you, there's um, lustful thoughts or a lot of sexual thoughts going on with your masculine, and it's making them feel like they are being magnetically pulled or drawn to you. Um, something that they might not be able to resist much longer, I feel like, because this communication is on their minds and the Page of Cups, which is about offering their heart or offering um, something that they've been desiring for so long with you, and then thinking so heavily about it, thinking about your presence, about your warmth, about your comfort, I definitely feel like you guys that are in separation, your masculine is desiring you very, very strongly right now. And it makes them just want to rush in. It makes them want to to run over to you, to, you know, um, pursue you, you know, so strongly. Now we have a couple of negatives here. We have the Five of Cups they are mourning over some kind of loss okay so this could have to do with you could have to do with the separation obviously your masculine is looking down at all that's happened looking at this separation at you guys being away from each other and it is such a heavy heavy loss for them they are so drained by this separation energy through missing you and desiring you so powerfully and hanging on to the last remaining threads of uh, um, control that they might have over not communicating with you. Maybe it's because there is a third party, maybe it is because there is a karmic energy here, someone who's blocking the connection or they themselves have not awakened or they haven't um, yet made that decision to come forward. So. I feel like the loss is very heavy, separation is very heavy on their minds, and they are missing you, missing your warmth and comfort, missing that feminine energy, um, and just really heavily desiring you, like I said. And so that's gonna cause that, you know, that conflict, that's gonna cause that pain, that's gonna cause this heavy loss, okay, this grief and sadness. They're definitely mourning over you at this point. And they could be turning over to, you know, some addiction. So maybe an obsession with the karmic person that they're with or a heavy attachment that's hard to break because they don't want to be rejected by you if they try to offer 
um, their heart or if they try to communicate, they're afraid they might be rejected. So your masculine, um, again, the devil card is also about lust and obsess obsessing over a person or obsessive thinking. Um, and also temptation to do either the good or the bad. So they have to decide that. And to me, I feel like since I did talk about how they are having these desires, thoughts about you, how they are really obsessing over you right now and thinking about you right now. And it has to do with this separation. It has to do with this loss, this heavy loss, like I said, that has been just driving them crazy. The separation is just driving, driving them insane and you're just so heavily in their minds and they can't stop thinking about you. And they're becoming obsessive about thinking about you. So from morning to night, throughout the day, it's hard for them to work. Um, but and it's really challenging them and it's really making them want to rush in. It's making them just, and I have these, you know, my twin flame tarot that I've created right now talks about this card and it has to do a lot to do with um, just sweeping off your feet, stealing you away, if if that makes sense. So, yeah, <laughs> that's definitely on their minds right now, very heavily. So let's go into our oracle energies for the masculine right now during separation. What is going on through their minds, through their heads, hearts about the feminine? What is the feminine's masculine thinking about them right now? What is going on? the ones. All right. So, oh my gosh. The garden and the gate. So they're trapping themselves, okay? There is an opportunity. The gate could be open for them, but they are in fear, okay? Afraid of what the unknown is, afraid of what is out there for them. So for this collective, I truly feel like it, the other one was a little bit different from uh, Friday, where it was talking about the masculines who are becoming more fearless to come out. This collective here, I feel like your masculine is afraid to come out. They're more securing themselves, securing their heart, um, you know, gating up their heart and the things they've collected in the 3D world, whatever that might be. Um, they're very much in entrapping themselves um, into their safety net, into their secure net where they know they won't be rejected or where they know they can't get hurt. Um, so envy, so there's some energy of envy here. Someone wants what they can't have. Maybe you're with some, someone else, maybe they're with someone else. So in this connection, one of you really truly wants what you can't have at this point. They're really envying what they what they desire. The masculine desires you. Masculine wants you, but they can't have you right now. There's this big separation. They could still be married or they could be in a connection partner or friendship or family ship that someone's holding them back and blocking them, maybe holding things over their heads. And they want it so badly. <laughs> and they want it so bad. And it's something that is not theirs yet, but they have to make that decision. And here we have this tower moment this storm warning coming in for your masculine so i feel like this is going to help them open this gate this is going to help them get what they desire get what they want um the for you the feminine um and it's gonna take you know this storm is gonna take this battle this fight for them to get there and then your man of interest, your masculine, is going to come to you. Does it, you know, that just, this is masculine energy, so no sex, doesn't matter, female, uh, male. So masculine figure wants to come towards you to protect you, to support you, to provide for you. This is the ultimate masculine card here, man holding a coin. Um, it's going to take some work though. It's going to take some fights going to take some battle to get what they desire, that which they don't have right now. They're envious. They want it. Um, and they're secure, little snug in their bubble protective layer here, but that's all going to be, um, I guess popped for lack of a better word, um, until your masculine finally comes for you out of separation. So let's keep going let's get use our twin flame oracle here with live tarot 
Um, so divine masculine, what is going on during the separation? How are they feeling? What are they going through? What's going on in this separation? So ascension, expansion, evolution, universal intelligence, stay connected to spirit. So we have an ascension, a change coming in the connection. We have this connection going to the next level. So you guys are going to ascend in this connection. After surrender, detach, trust, free for all, have faith that all will be well. Detach. So the masculine is going to detach. They're going to surrender to you, surrender to the divine, surrender over the things that no longer serve them, detach from that attachment with, you know, that karmic person or whatever is blocking the connection. They're going to detach from that. And the relationship, the connection is going to move up to the next level. So out of separation. Um, and you're go both going to ascend to a higher level. And um, the masculine is going to surrender over. And I'm getting a yes here. The answer to your question is yes. So if you came in here asking a question, if you need to know something that is a yes or a no, this card is for you. So a collective out there who needs a yes answer to your questions. Does my masculine love me? Does my masculine miss me? Um, are they thinking about me? Your answer here is yes and you're not limited to those questions so anything you might have been asking focusing on before coming into this reading that card is for you so ascension the next level you guys are hitting a higher vibrational frequency with one another and your connection is getting an upgrade so whether that be you guys uniting for the first time physically um you know first any first times going on for your connection you will receive that next level. So in separation, what is going on with the masculine? What is the energy for the connection? Twin flames, twin masculine, twin feminine. What is the masculine thinking about, feeling? What is going on with the masculine? Alright. Oh my gosh, guys. You can read that yourself. Ascending. Okay, and I'm going to put this card right next to it. Ascend. So, next level, okay? Whatever that is for your connection, the next level is coming for you guys. There will be an ascension in this connection, and you both will come out of whatever cycles you were in and ascend up together to the next level so whether that's physical but i'm thinking it's union sacred union you guys are going to achieve this union in this lifetime for many of you in this collective um so if you've lost hope if you've lost faith faith then this is definitely a sign for you. Um, you got your yes answer for any questions you had. Ascension, ascension, next level, sacred union is coming in for you guys. And we do get that sign, that symbol of winter, okay? So for those taking it as it's still winter right now, this upgrade could be happening right now. You guys could be hitting that next level with each other right now. Inner union, then sacred union, physical union. How, you know, that um, next level of your connection. I don't want to keep repeating myself, but it's just so prominent right now. Um, so definitely, this is incredible, guys. That sacred union, ascending into that sacred union, and we have winter, and we're in winter right now. Now, winter is also a symbolization of ending to that doesn't that which doesn't belong needs to be healed, and a renewal, new beginnings in the springtime. So this is definitely good symbolism for that as well. Wow. Okay. Um, so let's get into our secret. Are there any lessons here, masculine, feminine, during the separation right now? What's going on with masculine and feminine? Secret. 
sacred space. And just as I was saying, time out, clear your energy, space brings clarity. So things are going to be cleared out. The energy is going to be cleansed. That which doesn't belong is going to be terminated. That storm warning is going to cancel out anything the masculine has been holding back or anything that's blocking the connection is going to be torn down to allow space for this union. Synergistic, this is your energetic match. Two birds sing sweeter than one. So your twin flame connection, okay? This is your energetic match. Synergistic, which is twin flames. You guys are on the same frequency. Your chakras are aligned in the same frequency. This is your soul match. It's quite beautiful to get that there. Okay, so our lover's oracle. What do we have for the masculine and the feminine during the separation? What's going on with the masculine at this point? How do they feel? What are they going through during separation? I'm thinking about the feminine, what is energy? No shuffling can be a little bit loud. You can always lower the volume if you have to. Hidden secrets, okay, so secrets will be revealed. Truth that has been hidden is going to be revealed. Veils are coming off. Hidden secrets illuminated by the moon. Um, and that is illusions and dreams and the subconscious. So all of that is going to be revealed. All of that is going to be um, <laughs> torn down, just like I said. And the truth is going to come out how the masculine feels about you. Um, that separation is really doing its work catching vibes so masculine might be feeling your vibrations i just talked about how you guys are on the same um, vibrational frequency so there is going to be this um <sighs> this connection is going deeper between the two of you um and they're going to really be feeling your energy closely okay feeling that pull feeling the the magnetic attraction things like that that's really going to be hitting your masculine here soon and those hidden secrets are going to be revealed to you they're going to confess and their feelings going to confess the truth to you my masculine in separation right now what is that energy will there be union what is happening will there be get out of getting out of separation like this one wanted to come out, but I don't know which one that is. Oh gosh, that's too much. I am going to do that one more time. My mask in, please. During this time, and this energy. We do have spirit guide at the bottom that keeps popping up there so they're definitely tuning into that divine knowledge that high priestess divine truth okay <laughs> so here we have awakening so ascension awakening your masculine is waking up to this connection they are looking for autonomy they are looking for that independence from that codependent um, relationship they're looking to be free from um, from the block from what is blocking the connection and they're drifting away from that old connection they're drifting away from what has made them feel trapped and they want that freedom they're waking up and they're seeing past those illusions they feel kind of vacant and void right now without you okay so that separation is very much um, you know it's doing what it's supposed to which is them looking within but it's also making them feel really sad and vacant and lonely and lost um but that's why they're searching okay they're searching for that purpose they're searching for the new route or for the new door for things that are opening up for a new way and um for what they're destined to which is you so we have destiny here this is your guys' destiny. You guys are destined to come together. You're destined to have this union. And with that, it, 
that what, what is aligned here is going to happen, okay? It's going to pull through. It's just going to take time. And they are a little bit broken down right now. They're searching for purpose. They're searching for that destiny. Um, and they got to gain their freedom first. They have to pull out of this. And they're definitely awakening in this connection to you for this connection and for you. So what is it? the untold truth of the masculine during separation? The untold truth. What's going on with the masculine the separation? Yeah, so some things are un, um, unclear for them. There's still some confusion. And again, we get that moon. But all of that will be illuminated to them as well. So they are purifying, healing, cleaning their energy, detoxing. They are, this is the second one we've gotten on clearing and cleansing. So they are clearing their energy. Resentment, anger, bitterness, stinging words. So they resent what happened. They resent that separation. Um, they definitely regret that they did not... Um, they weren't honest with you, they weren't as open with you, that they didn't get the chance to say what they wanted to before separation. There's a lot of resentment here and they're purifying and cleansing and healing their energy so that they can communicate, so that they can give you what you desire and what you deserve from them, which is, you know, the best version of them. So let's get um, a counterpart messages. What is the masculine's message to the feminine? The masculine's message to the feminine of separation. We have at the bottom, I want to spend forever with you. So I can't stop looking at pictures, rereading the messages you have sent me. So they are obsessing, they are thinking about you so strongly right now. Reading, rereading your messages. They can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop looking at your pictures. You have made me feel so much. I am just so blown away by you. So you give them these incredible feelings that the energy is so powerful between the two of you. The attraction is so incredible. You make me want to be a better person. And this is what I told you before. The masculine is seeking to give you what you deserve, to give you the better version of themselves, and you help them to do this. The more you heal, the deeper my desire grows for you. So the more you're healing right now, feminines, the more they want you, the more they crave you and desire you. That's why they're obsessively thinking about you. That's why they can't stop thinking about you and looking at your pictures and reading your messages. The separation has really shown them how to heal and how to be a better person. And... Um, that's why there's so much work being done and that's why you're going to be granted that reward of sacred union with each other so that's pretty incredible they can't stop thinking about you so divine masculine one of their five good messages to the feminine right now during separation and we'll go ahead and get the inner vibes of the masculine what are the masculine's inner vibes and separation right now for the feminine? What are their inner desires, thoughts? Okay. <laughs> wow. We are meant to be together. So the message for you from the 5D higher self for your masculine, what they think about, what they, um, what their inner desires are. They know, they know you're meant to be together, but you're not ready. Okay. So they believe that you both aren't ready for each other yet. So I remember in the beginning of this reading, I talked about how it's not the time yet. Um, it is coming. But there is work to be done. There is a fight to happen. Not a literal physical fight, but, well, maybe for some, but um, 
I hope that it's just a spiritual kind of battle and an awakening and the masculine really working through all the fears and things like that. But they are working on it to be a better person. You're helping them to heal. Their desire is growing for you. The connection is ascending to the next level. You're meant to be together and you will be ready in time. So we have your lover is spying on you. So your masculine is spying on you. They are watching you from a distance. Secret admirer type of energy. Maybe not literally, hopefully at your house. But um, they're definitely thinking a lot about you. Um, might be watching on social media, trying to connect to you through friends or old friends or old family members, whatever that might be. Anyone you know could be checking up on you, wondering what you're doing because they miss you so much. So I'm thinking of you. This is all we've been talking about during this reading so far. Masculine is obsessing over you. They are thinking about you 24-7. Cannot get you out of their minds. They want your touch. I want your touch. We have two big ones here, guys. I think about marrying you. That is heavily on their minds, part of what they're really contemplating and thinking about. And I'm secretly in love with you. So for many of you in this collective, your masculine has not professed their love. They have not told you how they felt about you. But they are in love with you and they think about being with you. They think about union, okay? Marrying could just be union as well. They think about coming together, reuniting, reconciling, out of separation. They're secretly in love with you and during this time, they're obsessively thinking and they can't stop thinking about you. So I think of you, I mean, I want your touch. It's just the energy is so powerful and they cannot stop what's happening. They just, I feel like it's going to be hard for them to really hold themselves from reaching out. They want to communicate. And I told you how strong that energy was. I told you how much they are thinking about um, communicating. What is the Divine Masculine or Spirit messages? This is from the deck that I created. Divine Masculine, the MTDF Spirit Messages. Okay, so what we're getting from here is I'm finding myself in separation. So this is incredible. This is a reading on separation. And I told you that this is separation is doing what it's supposed to. They're finding themselves. They're searching. We saw searching, right? I'm thinking about you on their minds all the time. So again, the, your, their minds are on you. They're thinking about you so much right now. So let's go into our Twin Flame Union deck. What is going on during separation? How does the masculine feel? What is the message to the feminine during the separation? This past trauma and fear of rejection is keeping me chained down and trapped. Wow. Your love is the only thing I'm holding on to right now. Please don't give up on me. Your DM is damaged and losing strength. Um, your wisest course of action um, is to burn your love brighter and send your twin um, a lot of love and healing energy. This will keep your connection strong and your DM closer to you. I thought I had another card in here. I don't know if I did or not, but... Um, so yeah, we talked about that. Chained down and trapped. Your masculine feels trapped, okay? They feel like mm, it's they're stuck. They can't get anywhere, maybe held down by guilt. But all they're holding on to right now is you. They're saying, please don't give up. They're damaged, their strength is waning, but you can burn your torch brighter feminine and send them a lot of love and healing energy. And it'll bring make your connection stronger. So again, an ascension of your connection. I oh my god. I think about marrying you and leaving the material world behind, but my friends and family keep telling me it's crazy and I need to, um, and that I need to focus on my career and stability, but I can't stop thinking about you, fantasizing about having a new life with you. Um, your DM is struggling with traditional and social constructs. They need, still need to release these cycles and patterns that entrap them from you. Give it more time and these cycles will end. I think about marrying you. And what's incredible that you cannot make up is this. 
I think, about marrying you and leaving the material world behind, but they're being pressured by society, being pressured by family, parents, um, people that are important to them growing up, people that guided them in some way. And but their thoughts are on you. They think about marrying you. This is incredible. Um, you cannot, I mean, you could say you deny it all you want, but there are two, these are completely separate decks here. And they both, all of these are saying the same thing to you. That's incredible. The DM's confession. So let's get your DM's confession during separation. A couple of confessions here. And we're also going to pull um, one confession from you as well, while you guys kind of focus on seeing the incredible message. The incredible message. Okay. I just, oh, that's incredible. So for your masculine's confession, you triggered my spiritual awakening. And we had awakening in another deck as well. So you've triggered them to awaken. You've triggered them to be a better person. You've helped them to grow and to heal and to move forward and to seek, to search, to find themselves. Um, <laughs> yeah, you have, they are awakening, okay? And that's incredible um, because we saw that here as well. You've triggered their spiritual awakening. And this is a card we got earlier. Amazing. Don't hold back. Jump in and give, give to me all of you. Set the pace so I can too. So the masculine also wants you to be involved. They want to communicate and they're hoping that you will reciprocate that. They want you to jump all in too. So with that offering with that they bring to you, they're hoping that you will jump in with them too, that you will give their all and they will give their all. So here's a DF's confession. There's so much trauma and abuse for me to heal from. I'm worried you won't even want me because I'm taking too long to heal damage you didn't cause. So there's a lot of damage caused to you before the masculine came into your life and they've triggered your awakening as well. They've triggered your healing as well. And this is something that you're really working on. I feel physically uncomfortable when I know you're not okay. So you feel their energy. You know when they're okay and when they're not. And you definitely are connecting on a powerful level with your masculine. And so you can kind of understand what's going on with them too. You know what's happening with them, why it's taking long. There's a lot of healing to be done. And it takes a while for that to happen. So thank you guys so, so much. Look for my um, ending of this reading, ending of this video. Uh, usually I do a separate little video for you guys to say goodbye. So thanks so much. And I hope you resonated. Love and blessings to you all. You're so amazing, so incredible. Hey guys, thank you so, so much for watching my video. I really hope that you enjoyed and resonated. Stay warm out there, guys. Stay healthy. And I look forward to the next time we see each other. I can't wait till you guys join me again. I really, truly appreciate it. Like, share, and subscribe if you resonate. Um, again, I have my Etsy shop for personal readings if you guys want some. And I also have my Twin Flame Tarot that um, is on pre-order. So you guys go ahead and visit me there. I can't wait to see you guys for another reading again. So please do stay warm. It is so cold. And thank you so much for being there. I love you guys so much.